Hey YouTube, sorry I haven't been around, but I've been really busy, and I'm going to be really surprised if I even have like five views on this video, because I'm sure you guys all forgot about me. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into this video. I am 36 weeks pregnant, I think, and I'm due on the 20th of December, which was Philomena's due date, and she came on the 29th. And I think maybe with your, maybe with the second one, it might come on or earlier or who knows. But, um, it's been really hard taking care of Philomena while I'm this, I'm going to show you the stomach now so you know, so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Wait one sec, Mama. Wait one second. I got um bigger than the last time I showed you, huh? So here, come on. So yeah, it's kind of hard taking care of her with this big <laughs> obstacle. What's the matter? Relax. No one wants to hear that. Um. So I wouldn't suggest to anybody having Irish twins because it's probably the hardest thing I've done in life so far. Like she just dropped the pen, and getting this pen is was like agony. So, you know, I can't hold her like I would like to, and, like, when I give her her bottle, she's, like, on my knee, and it's just, I just would have liked to enjoy her last couple months of her first year a lot, you know, better, is that the word? I don't know. Whatever. I think you get the point. Do you? Do ya? Do ya? Yo, I'm so ugly. Why are you subscribed to me? Click unsubscribe. Don't, don't do that. So no, Mama, say no. Say no, don't unsubscribe. Um, 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 Woo, I've been hitting the sauce too much in these last uh, couple weeks. Doctor said I can have a glass of wine every every night. No, I'm just totally kidding. I haven't had a drink my, in actually two years. So I've been pregnant for two years. Um, What else? Baby's moving, baby's head is down. I had a, uh, an exam today that I was like, is his head down? Because he was sideways, like, last week. And he's like, oh, yeah. So I was like, okay. Um, oh, I had a maternity shoot. I didn't do one with Philomena. Well, we wanted to, and we were, like, all ex excited. Well, not excited, really. Why did I say excited? Me and my husband were not excited at all. We were like, we have to do it. We went to the place. And then turned around. And then I had her, and then I regretted it. And especially when I saw other people's um, pictures. I was like, oh, I want to do that, and now I'm not pregnant anymore. So we said, this time we're going to do it, and then we'll have Philomena in the pictures. The guy, he did, oh, he did it. But he didn't give me the negatives. I don't understand. Like, no, you're not touching me. So I only have prints. So I can't even put them on the computer or anything. It's like... See, that's one of them. I have some naked ones. We were at the beach. It was really cold. Um, I have some naked ones, too, I did. But they didn't really come out like I wanted. And we spent, like, 300 bucks on it, so... I feel like I should call, what do you think I should do? Should I call them and be like, can you redo, I just want a few of them redone, and like maybe like four, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, anyway, so yeah, I don't, I, what should, should I tell them, like should I ask them I want my negatives, I don't know what to do, anyway, so that's that about the maternity shoot, what else, um, that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to show you a few things that I found along the way since I've been MIA. Um, three things. I don't know if you guys, if any of my viewers are know Mina247. She did a video on it, and I I actually knew about them before. I actually saw these baby legs on 16 and Pregnant. Sophia was wearing them. And I was like, those are so cool. I'm like, I want those. So I I actually found a pair in TJ Maxx. It was like, all, they were orange with black polka dots. And they were the only ones they had. And they were on sale for $3. And 
and I just got them because I was like in love with them. So then I, on the package it said there were baby legs. I went to the website and I got a whole bunch. Well, my mom got me a whole bunch. I still have some that I didn't even open yet, and you can't see it. These are just plain with pink on the side, but they look like this when you open them. They're like leggings for babies. They're so awesome. I can't tell you how convenient these are. Like, at the end of the day, I will take Philomena out of her outfit and put her in just her onesie and these leggings. And then, so she can crawl around and she doesn't hurt her knees. And then when I change her diaper, I don't have to take pants down. It's just like her onesie. Done, done. And, um, so... And they, oh, and then underneath, they say you could wear them on your arms, too. And I mean, I wouldn't put them on, I don't know, maybe I would put them on her arms. But, um, I haven't. And, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, they, you could put them under, like, flared pants if her, um, under, whatever, under her pants. And they keep her warm, especially if you live in, like, New York, like I do. These are really cute. These are, like, these are unisex. These are snowmen. They're so awesome. I really like them. I wish I had gotten them a lot sooner, like when she was really little, because she was born in December, so it was really cold. I would have put them on her then. But, um, so well, I'm going to, they have, if you go to babylegs, I think it's babylegs.com, I'm sure. They have so many patterns, and, um, yeah, there's unisex ones. They have socks. They have all this different crap, but the, the baby legs are the best. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was, not for babies, it's argan, argan oil. This stuff is amazing. I don't know if you have hair like mine. It's kind of frizzy. And I've, I've searched high and low for hair products, and I'm, like, addicted to hair products to find the best. What are you doing? Oh, this is playing with the shredder, the paper shredder. That's okay. Keep playing with that, baby. Shut away. Um, yeah, anyway, my sister and I both are addicted to hair products. I'm like, I'll buy one, and I'm like, I won't like it, and I'll throw it out. My friend Marisa was like, yo, check out Argan Oil. They sell it at Harmon. Well, I got mine at the local pharmacy, but they don't really have them at, like, CVS or Walgreens. Our local pharmacy had it, and it was $12 for this little bottle, and it makes your hair so nice. Not greasy. And it smells like, kind of like sandalwood. So, yeah. It's a really good product. You should check it out. Um, if you have frizzy hair, it really works good. You like how I did that ponytail? Um, yeah, and you see these? This is what a boy does to you. Right? A boy in utero. Give me bangs. I never had that. Philomena did that. I mean, Philomena didn't do that with me. And, okay, the last thing, and I'm going to let you all go, all three of you that are probably watching this, um, the last thing that I wanted to tell you guys about, oh my god, it's the best thing I've ever had in my life, Entenmann's Butter French Crumb Cake, okay, their crumb cake is okay, and their pound cake is awesome, they their crumb cake, I say, is okay because the cake part is like, it's not, I don't like the cake part, but the top is great. It's like, that's the best part of crumb cake. This is a mixture of both. It's pound cake with the crumbs on top. I seriously eat like a, one a night. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm not pregnant anymore and I have no excuse. I'm just going to eat it still, I guess. All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. I see a lot of you that I'm friends with on Facebook are really are getting into the Christmas spirit. I am not because for the second year in a row I will be in the probably in the hospital delivering a baby around that time. So it sucks because Philomena's first Christmas and her birthday and I can't do much. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should have a party in January for her. I don't know what to do about Christmas though because I really want to get a tree and do the whole Christmas thing. But like she's gonna be like, why did you put a tree up? Because it's gonna, we're gonna be leading to this great big holiday that never happens because mommy's gonna be in the hospital. Right? Isn't that kind of crappy? And like, that's the last thing she wants. 
Oh, so every Christmas, Mommy's going to go to the hospital and bring home a sibling? I don't know. Who wants that? So, sorry, Mommy, that this is going to be a yucky Christmas for you. But she won't remember it anyway, so. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Mama. Mama. Kiss? And this is one, and this is one, and this is one, God bless you, and this is one, and this is one, really, how else am I going to get them on the computer?